Hello everyone, welcome to the new week. You are on Monday the 15th of June. I believe this might be week 12, week 13. Is it what? what week 13? Week 13. Wow, week 13. It's been a long time. Today's workout, you have, will have seen that you have a big 10 rounder. We're thinking this workout should take us somewhere between 15 to maybe 20 minutes. Those of you who might be ninjas upon us, okay, you might be a little bit quicker, but we're thinking the majority should fall between that 15 to 20 minute mark. 10 rounds. What it consists of, eight burpees, 10 plate rows, and then 12 sets. So in total, the total volume is 80 burpees, 100 plate rows, and 120 sets. A good workout to start the week. In terms of your warm up today, we have push ups, some down ups, some plate rows again, which we're now familiar with, and our hollow rocks. Some simple key points that I want us to really focus on today. With our burpee, we see a lot of people when we're in person jumping their feet to the inside of their hands. I'm going to demonstrate the most effective and efficient way to do it. I place my hands down on the floor, I kick my feet back, chest and thighs to the ground, I'm going to push my hips high to the ceiling like a push up. Jump the feet to the outside of my hands, I step nice and tall, and I jump and reach my hands above my head. What we don't want to see is people jumping their feet narrow, getting to this position, and then having to do an air squat. Not only is that much, much slower, it's causing far more work for you to do to be able to get through that movement. When we've got 80 of them to do in today's workout, we want to make sure they're obviously being effective and being efficient. Our plate rows, some key things. I'm going to first of all stand nice and tall, I'm going to hinge back, Load my hamstrings and my glutes up. My back's working what we call isometrically, so it's working hard to keep a shape. And I'm gonna row the plane in towards my tummy. I'm not rowing to my chest and flaring my elbows out. Instead, I'm thinking about my elbows coming back up for you. Think like we teach you on a push-up, and like we teach you with a ring row, keeping the elbows close. The last movement, I'll sit up. This is pretty self-explanatory. Ideally, we're gonna see our feet butterflied. So, feet pressing together, knees turned out, sitting nice and tall, reaching forward, sitting back, reaching high again. If I've got an ab mat or a towel to support my lower back, beautiful. Make sure you use it, it gives you a little bit of leverage, and as well, it helps you recruit a little bit more muscle. If you need to, you can anchor your feet. You can get someone to come stand on your toes, you can pop them under the side of a sofa, you can anchor them with dumbbells or something else that you might have in order to be able to help you get up. By doing so, this recruits a little bit more of my hip flexor and it helps pull me forward so not only can I move faster, increasing that intensity, but it also gives me a little bit of an assistance, okay? That's our workout. Like I said, we're thinking hopefully somewhere between 15 to 20 minutes. If you can keep to a two minute round, that would be awesome. Your accessories today. Again, we're moving for quality. With all of our core and our accessory work at the end of the session, we keep saying for quality because we don't need to rush. We don't want you to try and move as heavy as you can. We want you to try and do it and make it as look as good as you can. No time for time. 30 seconds in an L sit. I'll show you a couple of ways I actually do those. And four Turkish gaps, my favorite exercise. In terms of our L sit to begin with, we can either find, yeah, two boxes. We can either find two boxes. Let me do it. Wait there, Walt. I can even grab two boxes, two chairs, and two different sizes. I can only use two benches, can I? Here's one I prepared earlier. I can grab two objects of the same height, whether that is plates stacked up, whether that's two kitchen chairs, whether that's two benches you might have in your garden. I'm going to press down, I'm going to lift my knees nice and high, and I'm going to take my heavy sandals out in front. What I need to make sure is what I'm doing, what's laughing? What I need to make sure I'm doing is I'm keeping my knees higher than my hips. If I want to do another variation, I can do it sitting from my box, pressing up and just lifting my knees nice and high. Or you might find that just by leaning back and lifting your knees up and lifting your feet up. Also does the exact same work. I don't obviously need to sit on the floor. I got to sit on a bench and sit on the floor to do this. If you'd like to as well, you can do a variation from the ground. I've got short arms, so I make this look even harder than it actually is, okay? What I do is I press down through the floor, lifting my shoulders nice and high, lift my feet up. You put that in time lapse then, it made it look like I did no time. <laughs> okay, that was like five seconds at least, you sped the camera, okay? If I want to, I can change it to a hollow hold on my box. If I want to make my arms nice and long, my legs nice and long, I make that harder. Or I can change it to a plank. My Turkish girl, I've shown you this a million times, but I'm going to show you a 
quick variation of that. I'm going to grab my heavy 16 kilo cowbell. I'm going to start down on the floor. Hang on, just that. I'm going to press the kettlebell nice and high. For those of us who are still learning this skill, I want us to start in this position. Same knee up, same arm press to the ceiling, and all I'm going to do is reach down towards the floor and then stand up. I want us to do four of these on each side if we're still learning and we find it difficult and challenging. If you want to go through the full movement, we start on the floor. I have my hand out to the side. I lean to my shoulder, the elbow, the hand. I press the hips to the ceiling, knee comes under, and I stand all the way tall. I then go back in reverse. Left foot, the opposite to the hand. Goes back, hand to the side, foot through, coming back down towards the floor. So just to recap, work out, you've got 10 rounds for time. We're wanting this to be between 15 to 20 minutes, eight burpees around, 10 plate rows, 12 setups. Get after it, make sure we're working nice and quick. Enjoy working for a little bit longer of a time and enjoy the 80 burpees. We'll see you tomorrow.